All right, guys, we're going to try a new project today. I haven't done a spike knife in a long time. I've been watching a lot of uh, Australian and UK uh, wildlife shows, and in particular the UK. It seems like the badger seems to be an iconic figure over there. Uh, I know we have badgers over here too, but uh, it seems like there's a little bit more, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say appreciation, but uh, 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 endearment to them. So we're going to try to do that. I, I was, you know, I've been sitting here for a minute thinking, you know, the shape is relatively simple. We have a couple of ears to make, but the badger, the way, you know, the difference between a badger and a lot of other things is color. So to be able to put those black stripes in and to make it look like a badger, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull that off, but that's what we're going to try. Let's see if we can do a badger railroad spike knife. Pretty much clueless as to what I want to do with this. That handle cleaned up a little bit anyway. I don't think it should be a big deal. And again, we'll start rolling that edge just like I always do to bring it down. Same thing with this side. Just so we can bring her down without a rollover. I know we need a triangular shape. There's a lot more to it than that. This guy a little bit more. We're gonna want, I'm gonna the fish mouth in a little bit there. We're going to want a squared end on this end, that's for sure. So I'm going to bring that back a little. Without rolling it too much. Bring that back, see there's this bottom mass here. If we can bring that back to that without rolling it, I think we'll be in good shape. Looks like a badger already done. Now a couple of things I want to do. I need a little bit uh, on top here so I can push the ears out and also the eyes. I need to leave a little bit of mass on those eyes um, because they're kind of beady if they're sticking out. So I got to kind of work all of that out. But let's get a general shape first. The ears out a little bit. I cool down the nose. Not very far. Just so I get enough to work with. That'll do the trick. Straighten up. All right. So, what do I got? Like quarter inch there or something? I think that'll. I think that'll be enough for what I'm trying to do. I think. I think. Start pulling that nose together now. Vice for a minute here, just to try to consolidate Put that top and start the fish mouth down. Just smooth it out a little bit. Here. We still got quite a bit of work to do to bring that nose out, but just, just to kind of clean off the top there a little bit. And that nose down again. I want to leave a little width here for the eyes. I got I think it's something tricky I have to do with the eyes. I don't know for sure. Start narrowing that nose down. I've never done done one of these before. I'm having the foggiest idea what I'm really trying to do. But I do have a long nose, and I want that for sure. with that I think it kind of moved away from badger to me a little bit but again when I pop those eyes down in there that'll that'll change things a little bit they also have kind of a many thing sticking out on either side of their ears I don't know if I'm gonna pull that off or not fine-tuning the shape of this nose just a little got a snout that comes up a little so we're going to just kind of put a little bit of a 
indentation there. I'm just using a really rounded off railroad spike actually. Just to put that in. I got a little bit of work to do with it. I want that snout to come up a little and you can kind of see what we got going on there. So it's looking a lot less like a badger at the moment. Throw a little more time on trying to get some shape in here. Get that same punch and figure out where I want the top of my eyes to be and start pulling that back a little bit too. So his eyes are going to be beady when we get done. Have to make a tool to do that. But we give me some some room to work. Same thing on this side. Just start moving some of the steel out of the way. Oh sure. And then we'll come back here to do the same thing with the ears. Just kind of move them apart. Rather than lift the ears up, I'm going to move the steel away from it. That's the plan, anyway. I don't want it to be cartoon looking, but right now it's a pretty scary looking thing, ain't it? <laughs> Put more on this. Some stuff moved out of the way. started all the detail work. It's a pretty scary looking thing, if you ask me. But we gotta work it out, and we will. Oh, show. Sure. Get that bottom rounded, that'll help a lot. I come back and be a little more aggressive than we were before. Again, we got the general idea there. Now we gotta get a little bit more of the rough work done. That snout needs to come up and round it over. to me. Even though I am taking out some of the details that I put in, I also want it smooth there. looking good I think. I think I can see a badger. The rest of it needs quite a bit of work. Point I'm hoping that some contrast and texture will produce the covered look I'm looking for. So we're going to try to do that now. an elegant animal it's hard to uh, it's hard to uh, make it look as pretty as it is just spreading these ears apart now It's good. One more time on this just to spread those ears apart a little.
So it looks like the ears kind of stand up a little. Getting closer, I think. I'm kind of liking how it's looking. I'm not sure how I'm going to work those ears because i got to flatten them out a little. But we'll figure out a way to do that. There, a quick little eye punch that uh, I can use. I'm going to try punching those eyes out now just to give me something to focus on um, for the rest of the face, I think. I don't think I'm actually trying to put the eyes in permanent, but I want some type of detail there for sure so I can start messing with other things. I like that. Get things where I want them to be. So the rest of the face can kind of start disappearing. I'm okay with that. I think we can get So we got some beady eyes, and then with that, the peen on this, the two-pound hammer, I just started feathering those away. I'm not hating it yet. Decide what we're gonna do here. These things just don't have the shape that. I with the eyes to clean them up yet, but they're kind of bug-eyed cartoonish, but the badger tends to be. Sometimes you get a little too picky. That nose curves down. I, I, want, it, I want it thinner from the eyes, and I want it to kind of, I think, curve up a little. Making Chandler happy here, but just I want to freak the eye up this. Got to make sure I don't hit on that. I just want to get this snout narrower after the eyes and then streamline more. I think that's the trick. There's no real, it's just like a triangular shape until you get to the snout. So if you don't want a whole lot of change in dimension there or uh, lines. But we'll get that snout up a little bit more. Yeah, now we're happy, I think. I think we're okay. I think we can pull this off. Start to round that snout off a little bit so we can get some nose in there. What do you guys think? You see a badger in there? I don't know if I do either. All right, before we go any farther, let me see about pulling these ears. I'm gonna pull them out a little bit like that on both sides. I don't know, children. Something just doesn't look right to me and I don't like it. or something. Pull the ears down on the snout. I'm just going to try to drive that back, fattening it out by the eyes. 
And I think that'll do the trick. I need to re-punch those eyes, but I figured I would anyway. I think that's gonna do the trick. something for the first time I swear just dropping these ears a little bit too far. So I'm just going to pull them forward a little bit. Very, what are they? They're very uh, inquisitive animals. Yeah, I like that. That's better. like a badger. That's a badger like ears. I like the ears. I can deal with the mouth. All I gotta do is try to put those eyes back in. Yeah, that looks really good now. Really, really good. I like these triangular marks I have on the side to represent the color pattern all the way down to the nose. It looks really, really good. I said we might be able to pull that off the texture alone. If we can, that would be awesome. We got just enough lip on the snout. Yeah, that looks like a freaking badger now. All right, let's put those eyes in and see how bad we destroy it. A second eye punch. This is the first one, uh, much bigger in diameter. I think that's too big for what we're after, so something a little smaller. Uh, I'll center punch where I want them to be, I think, just to give me a, a visual reference and we'll go from there and see what it looks like. Here we go. Let's see what we end up with. I think I want them down a little lower than I had them before, so somewhere right around in there I think I want. Right there. Right there looks good. I'll use the right punch up from the job. I 
ain't horrible. The problem that I have is my punch. That's why I wanted it started to begin with. Put those raccoon rings around the outside. I don't know if you can see them or not. And that takes the look all the way away. So we got to work those out. Short of that, I'm happy with the way it looks, actually. Let's see what we can do about getting rid of those freaking lines. Make something more controlled than the hammer. We'll see what we can do about just feathering those out a little bit. Somewhat natural way. No, that ain't doing what I want to do. I'd rather take the risk here. here just a little it's pretty cold now so I'm not doing a whole lot of work here but I like it coloring we'd be in good shape so I think what I'm gonna try to do hopefully without messing up the eyes is put those two badger lines back in like I did before I think but I'll mess up the eyes much I might like it it's about messing it up I don't freak up the eyes too much. up a little bit but I can't see a freaking thing and I don't know why some blind and old I think it I think it will be badgerish maybe I should drop those ears a little bit more no I like it it's got enough it's enough for what it is geez Louise hopefully when it cleans up those side marks will glow better than the rest all right we'll get the nose down I got to put a couple of nostrils in and a little bit of a mouth slit, and I think we'll be done with it. Fish gill punch. Let's see if I can put slits in rather than an actual hole. I can go back later and put the hole in if I want to. I kind of like that. Coming down to... I don't know 
if I like that. And then, God, if it wasn't wide. come up high enough or something. So now I'm kind of screwed myself here. They're not horrible, but they're not great either. Let's put a little dimp on here and see if that moves it back where I want it to be. Oh yeah, yeah, that did. I'm trying to hide some of the wine I don't like with the dimple. Yeah, I like it. It's got kind of a bad dish. Crooked nose. Pushing the nose up a little bit. I like that. Now this down here and we'll find... Yeah, let's put this little curl in here. This is where... Off the bottom. hotter and the flat chisel. I'm okay with what I did with the nose. I got a bit of a lift there and a little bit of a nostril and some wine so I really like that. Just wanted to find the mouth a little bit. It's, it's not really that visible. A little bit cold here just to be safe. Tell you we're damn close to a bear too aren't we? And close to a bear too. But so are they. So are they. I don't think in genetics, but I think in look they are. Long snouted grizzly. There it is, that's a badger. I'll go ahead and wire brush it just to see if I'm happy with it. I think I am. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but I think it'll do the trick. And then we'll come back and finish the knife. Uh, I'll tell you, a nice long snout of grizzly. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, there's a little bit here that kind of throws off the width here. I'm going to try to bring that in a little bit, and then I'm going to roll this nose out so it's pointing more out like a badger. What a badger doesn't point his nose straight down like that. His, his nose are more like a, more out like that. Hopefully that'll give me the look I'm looking for, and if so, then we will move on with the knife. I'm just going to try to roll that head back if I can without messing up too much. Without messing up too much. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but it might be good enough. see badger in there but somebody will <laughs> that's the way it works everybody sees what they want to see in the damn thing for sure I think by tipping that head back though it helps helps give it more of a badger look so we got a lot of knife to get out of a little space but let's get working on that knife now I'm just gonna bring stretch out some of this handle give me a little more blade and also even up the handle a little up for the twist. That'll be fine. We'll just go ahead and we'll do uh, one line down the center, put a full twist in. Kind of like a rope. Two lines, a little more dramatic, but I think one line will work here. Get the twist in and get working on the blade. Let's see what we can do here. Gotta be careful not to straighten that head too much. But again, we're only after one line down the middle here. More close to it, right, Chandler?
We'll give you one more whack. There you go. Alrighty, one more heat, put the twist in. You got just, I think, enough room for the blade. I have an idea on a blade, I don't know, maybe I'll try it. It's the kind of blade I don't like to do. Because I don't know how to do it well. Maybe we'll do it. Got enough heat here, we'll go right about there. And this thing. One full twist. Like that. Actually, normally I like to put a little curve on my knives, but if I do, I'm going to put his head back down. Uh, da, 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 da. Come down a little lower for the knife curve. about that? Yeah, I don't know if I like that much. Actually. kind of different. I mean, you barely see it, it's almost straight, but be able to keep his head up enough so he kind of looks like a whatever we're making. What is that thing we're making? Badger. Badger. This is just a rare old spike knife. I think what I want to do as part of my original idea. It's definitely going to be a novelty knife. Karambit kind of shape to it, you know what I mean? In honor for the claw of the uh, of the uh, freaking badger, we're gonna. Do. Uh, I, I, I I don't like grinding inside. I don't have the right technique or knowledge or tools or something, but we're gonna do it anyway. Why not? Many of you know I've only done a few of these, so I'm not very good at it to begin with, but keep maintaining that curve while we flatten it out, I think we'll be okay. Straighten out. It's got hook and a half right now. It's got hook and a half right now. <laughs> It'll be a novelty knife. Start moving it up here a little. Get a little point on this thing going. Be 
a stabbing knife, that's for sure. I'm telling you, it's pretty damn close to what I want it to be. It is a lot thicker than I expected, but... See about by the time I grind, I'll have a point on it. I think we're good. Let's get lined up then. Let's get everybody lined up and happy, happy, happy. Ain't bad right there. Alrighty, that's what we're gonna call it as far as forging goes. That's the start of a what do you call it? A badger forenda. I'll go ahead and normalize this thing three times like I do. Fast normalizing on a little cheater when it comes to that. Especially on steel, it isn't quite as important. Oh yeah, we got a bit of a twist in or two. We're straightening our up normalizer, I'll be back. No, a karambit is a harvesting tool. <laughs> this is one hell of a harvesting tool. Holy cow, having that, that head up there is just as good as having that ring inside that thing. So yeah, no doubt about it. So this is just a rough grind, really, really quick on it. Um, and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and harden it up right now, and then put a finished grind. This son of a gun will be done. It's a, it's a neat little knife, I think, and it kind of looks like a badger a little. <laughs> like I do with all spike knives. Ooh, the tip's a little. I'm gonna let that tip cool. The tip's a little warmer than the rest. All I do with with all my spike knives is I go ahead and quench them in water, just like that. A little bit of time to make sure we don't have a warp going. And there we go. I have a pretty hard quench. It's nice in my quench, but everything looks good. I don't see any cracking. That looks good to me. So we'll get her cleaned up and we'll get her finished up and I'll come back. And, well, actually, we got to temper it. Let me get cleaned up and tempered. Tempering this thing is going to be di very difficult the way I do it. Normally on a straight blade, I put it in the vise for a heat sink and I just uh, uh, blew up the spine and let it let the colors work down. Um, not sure how I'm going to do with this one, but uh, again, it's not, the, it's not a high quality steel anyway, so I think we have a lot of flexibility when it comes to tempering. But I, well, I'm going to try the same trick. We'll put that much of it in the vise. I don't need this tip tempered too much anyway. And uh, and we'll get we'll try to get a blue one there. There's a lot of steel there though. It's gonna take a while. See how we did in the vise. I like it. I think I like it. It's you know we're right down where we want to be down here. Uh, a little a little softer on the tip might be all right, but I think that's the way we'll go with it. Again, I well I don't know what anybody would use this knife for, but being a railroad spike, I'd use it for a lot of different things for sure. Guys, here she is. I hate doing this. I don't know how to. I ended up with a little bit of a round of nose there. I have a lot of practice when it comes to, I think it's called a recurve blade. Uh, that inside grind. I'm going to have to do some research. I don't know if it's all technique or if it's the tools. You know, I'm running off a two inch wheel running the thing around. And there's got to be better ways to do it. But I'm, I'm pleased with it. I mean, it, all right, it's supposed to look like a badger. I think it does. I think it looks a little bit like a badger. Sometimes like a bear. <laughs> you got it at the right angle. It, uh, it's good enough. I mean, it's for a first try, I think that's pretty cool. I really would like to put some, some, some way to, to put those black lines in and maybe etching or something might way to do it, or maybe a Dremel tool or something. But for the first attempt, that's what it is. It's relatively sharp. Like I said, I'm not good at grinding these recurved blades. Uh, she's relatively sharp for, for a grind that I don't do very well. I'm, I'm okay with it. I think she'll do all right for a, for a sharpness. Um, it's not razor sharp, but she's impressive enough. I mean, it'll it'll cut something full show, full show. All right, there she is. Um, yeah, good project. Again, good practice on this. I don't like, you know, I'd rather have a point there. Oh, one one other thing. In case one of you guys in the UK or Australia want this, I I put a uh, I was going to put a, a a double another edge on the, this tip here, and uh, I don't believe you guys can have blades with with two edges. So this is just a false edge. It's just rounded off. Um, so if somebody were to want to buy this overseas, I think this would be a legal knife. I'm not sure if a curved blade is illegal or not, but uh, it is only, it's only a single-edged uh, weapon, that's for sure. And there's the, the uh, what I'm calling, <laughs> what I'm calling the, uh, 
badger-headed railroad spike knife. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, something different, something new. Catch you on the next one. Ciao. Thanks for all your support. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called Support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.